Well, hi, everybody. This is Allie, the Assistant Director at the Weston Public Library, and I just wanted to show you a little bit of something special today. Uh, and this is just a little tutorial on how to access some of our digital library resources from home. I'm going to do a couple of these um, now and again, but today we're going to start off with Hoopla, which is one of our really, really neat um, platforms that will allow you to access ebooks, audiobooks, comic books, movies, TV, music, all sorts of great content from home. And it's not things you've never heard of. It's, you know, bestsellers and popular shows and some great movies. So this is pretty easy to use. Um, that's why we're going to get started here because I think it has uh, some of the lowest expectations of um, tech savviness to use it um, of all of our platforms and I really just love it. So something to note is that with Hoopla you are limited on how many um, checkouts you get per month. Usually it's six but during this time when folks are accessing our library resources from home we have doubled that to 12 uh, just so we can get people uh, the library resources that they need while they're you know kind of hunkered down at home. So it's pretty great in that respect. So the other thing that's awesome about Hoopla that you might think is a little different from some of the other ebook and digital audiobook lenders is that it's all available all the time. So if somebody else is reading the same book as you, that's awesome. They can get a copy, you can get a copy. There aren't limits on how many people can be using each item at a time. So that is a wonderful thing, especially for book clubs. A lot of people's book clubs have kind of moved online to FaceTime or Zoom with their friends. This is a great way to do it because nobody has to leave the house to get, uh, to get the books that they need. So pick something on there and it's everybody's reading. All right, so right from our westinlibrary.org homepage, we have uh, ebooks and more. That is where you're going to find uh, most of our digital library content as far as our ebooks and digital audiobooks and magazines and things like that. Uh, on our homepage right now, we do have um, our digital library services there. And always on the left hand side of the page, we have links to our digital library offerings. So, just to be consistent, I'm just going to go up to the top and do ebooks and more. All right, our top service we have here is Hoopla, and this gives you a little rundown on what you can borrow um, on Hoopla. But the best part here is this little link, or you can click on the, um, the photo as well, and that'll take you to HooplaDigital.com. So if you have never signed up before, this is where you'll want to sign up. You'll want to have your library card handy. The sign up process is pretty easy. If you have logged in before, then um, that will be something that you'll just log in with the email address and password that you signed up with. If you don't remember your password, hit the little forgot password link and they'll email you a way to reset it right to your email. It's pretty simple. Okay, so I'm gonna hit get started today and I'm gonna enter in some information for my account. This is all the information that it requires. So that's pretty easy. So I'm going to put in a new one. All right, it has me confirm an email. All right, let's do a password here. And we have to agree to their terms and conditions. Now it's telling me it's having it's looking at the libraries that are closest to me um, here at home that have this particular service. It's not going to be one of those because you're going for Weston, I'm going for Weston. So if it doesn't automatically pick up Weston, and it should say Weston M A, otherwise you're looking at Weston, Florida, or you know Weston, Connecticut. So we're looking for Weston M A. So let's do. There it is, Weston Public Library, MA. Those are the important things. Oh, it's telling me that Broward County Library is 16 miles away. I think they're a little off. All right, so we'll choose that one and then hit next. And then I'm gonna put in my library card number or a library card number. 
Now, if you don't have a library card, um, you can click that link right there to get a library card online, um, or you can go to our website and get a library card online. All right, sign me up. All right, we have Hoopla is brought to you by Weston Public Library, and here it is. All right, just took a little bit of a second, but right now it says you can currently borrow, or you can borrow, 12 ti more titles this month because I haven't borrowed anything. So just to let you know, borrows reset at midnight um, on the first of the month. So if you are using 12 borrows um, in the last day of the month and you still have things that are um, in your account, those don't count against your next month's borrows. So really, you could have at one time 24 things checked out if you timed it right. But, you know, you, that's a lot of stuff to watch. So, you know, usually we recommend people just, you know, chugging along, watching the things um, as they have time and then checking things out because there are different loan limits for each item. Um, and it will tell you when you look at, uh, look at the different items. So right at the top, you'll see the little word that says Hoopla here. If you click on that, um, it will take you right to the, the main Hoopla page. The other thing that you can do is you can browse. So let's go um, by, we'll go audiobooks right now. So this is browsing by type of item that you would enjoy borrowing. So as you can see, there are um, a whole bunch right now. It's just being sorted by default. Let's sort by popularity. Um, and you can see all the interesting things. So right now, we have a lot of kids' books that are exciting. Um, the Other Misses, that one's very popular, Call of the Wild with a movie coming out. Um, that definitely has gained some popularity. But all of these items here, you can also do children's titles only if you're doing things for kids. Or we can go by categories. And let's just see what we've got. Let's do... How about just general fiction? So if we do general fiction here, and we'll go, oh, let's see. We'll exclude the abridged titles. You can see what the most popular titles right now we have in general fiction. So that, t that Tattooist of Auschwitz, that's very popular. Um, the Alchemist, that's a good quick read. Lots of fun stuff. The Great Alone, oh my goodness, that one is a, is a favorite. Um, oh, and these great ones, all right, if you like kids' books. Um, Pig the Pug is really fun. This one's Pig the Tourist. He's a, he's a really uh, funny little guy. So lots of great books. So let's say we wanted to... Um, listen to The Alchemist. I love to listen to books while I fold my laundry. It makes the time pass. I also listen while I'm gardening, doing all sorts of things around the house. So this right here would be a great read. I've already read it, but I really, really enjoyed it. So if I want that one, all I have to do is click borrow. And it's going to tell me that this title is available for 21 days. So audiobooks are available for 21 days. If I want it, I can hit borrow title. So I will hit borrow title. If you are in the app, it's a very similar process. It looks a little different, but the one difference is you are allowed to download stuff in the app. And what that means is you don't have to be connected to the internet while you're listening. So on a computer, either a laptop or a desktop, you do need to be connected to the internet to um, stream the content. So have it be viewable or listenable on your device. But on a mobile device, it can be added to your phone or tablet um, to go with you to anytime even if you're not connected so a lot of people put it on their phone and use the app on their phone so when they go on walks they can have something to listen to all right so i'm going to hit borrow title and what that will do is it will tell me that it's going to be um, available in my hoopla now the great thing about this is there are never any fines never any overdue fees and if you don't finish reading or listening or watching you just check it out again. It counts as another borrow, but not a big deal. I mean, if you have borrows left over, then, then just take it out again and continue. So we're going to hit my Hoopla, and there we go, currently borrowed. So if I want to start listening, I just hit play, and it will start playing. Here we go. By Paolo Very cool. By Jeremy so I'm going to pause this for a quick second. Jeremy Irons. Reading. Ooh, celebrity reader bonus. Okay, 
So up at the top in these controls here, they also have it on the app on the second screen on your phone if you swipe through. Um, it allows you to adjust the speed. So I can adjust the reading speed a little bit. I always find for my taste, a lot of the readers read a bit slow. So I like to bump it up a couple notches. Your ear gets used to it and you get through books a lot quicker, but you don't have to. Um, you can even slow it down if you find if they're reading um, something and they've got you know, complicated words or anything like that, that's, that's a good thing. There's a sleep timer, uh, that's pretty awesome. So you never fall asleep and have the book run all night. You can either um, look through the chapters here or place a bookmark. Now, a thing about placing a bookmark is that's just some place for you to remember to go back to. It always remembers your last reading location. And the nice thing about using the app in particular um, or using the computer version and the app in conjunction, as long as you've connected to the internet, your reading will sync. So if you're reading or listening on your iPad or your iPhone on the go, and then you come back home and you connect to your Wi-Fi, and then you pick it up on your computer, it will be picked up at the last spot you listened, regardless of what device you listened on. Now, if you have the airplane mode turned on or you're not connected to the internet, it won't sync across devices, but otherwise it will, which is super, super, super useful. All right, so to get out of that, I just hit that little downward facing arrow, and that's pretty much it. You can also search for things. Um, so let's say I was interested in, oh, well, let's see what they've got. I'll go with Spice Girls. Let's go for some music. I wonder if they have any. Oh, look at that. People, Spice Girls. Oh yeah. So this this 80s child is really excited to see the Spice Girls greatest hits. If I want a little bit of nostalgia, I can go and check out um, you know, some some good old nostalgia music here. So that's another great thing about this, is it's not just movies, it's not just books, it's also full albums that you can borrow and enjoy. One thing that I do have to recommend, um, if you are a comic book reader, use this on your tablet or on your full color um, mobile device. The graphics are beautiful. And same thing with kids books and picture books, they really look super. So that's what I'm a huge fan of, um, Hoopla in general. If you have any questions or you need any help, you can always contact us. Um, all of our contact information while we, while the building is closed is available on our homepage on our website. So if you go over to Weston Public Library, where we go, westonlibrary.org, we do have limited email and phone support. We can help you if you email us at um, the email address there, or if you call us um, using one of these numbers, we can give you a hand um, with getting all set up with one of these great services. So hope this was helpful. I know it's a little long, but I love this service. So I'm just super excited about it. And definitely let us know um, here on social media or through our, our through our website, giving us a call, or sending us an email if you need help. All right, thanks for listening. Bye.